Daily Planet. I'm Zai Tong, and we've got everything from the prehistoric to the space age on the show today, from a new dinosaur rolling into Halifax to some one-of-a-kind galactic items going up for auction, which are so unusual you'll have to check them out later. But first, a Playboy pinup, a pack of cigarettes, and a pot roast. These are some of the most memorable items ever flown in space. These and other space artifacts are being auctioned off online, and today they could be yours. Some of them may even have space dust. With more on this, I'm joined by Bobby Livingston with RR Auction in Amherst, New Hampshire. So, Bobby, great to have you join us on Daily Planet. It sounds like you have some amazing items at this auction. What's up for sale? Well, we have an incredible amount of 450 items that kind of tell the whole history of the uh, space movement from cosmonauts to astronauts uh, to shuttle pilots. We've got uh, gear. We've got things that flew around the moon, landed on the moon. We even have things that were smuggled into space. Wow, contraband. What kind of stuff was smuggled? So you have to remember, these guys were facing death and fear like you wouldn't believe. And so they were fighter pilots, and, and they would sneak uh, pranks on board so that they would be discover them. And the cigarettes that we have are pretty famous. They, they flew in the Saturn rocket, and every, every minute detail of the mission is, is, is planned out. So at a certain point, he opened up an instrument panel, and he found, he would find, uh, Wally Shara found these cigarettes uh, behind, the, behind the instrument panel with, with some whiskey. And uh, he couldn't obviously consume the whiskey, although he's hurtling tens of thousands of miles an hour above the planet. But once he splashed down and got back on the uh, carrier, he immediately drank the whiskey. He saved these cigarettes, all four of them, and uh, we have them for auction. And it's pretty exciting. That's stuff. incredible. Any other examples? Well, uh, the other, one of the other things that was smuggled on board is the famous 1969 uh, calendar of Dee Dee Lynn, the Playboy calendar. Uh, this is a very famous uh, prank that they pulled on each other. Again, you can imagine the, the critical uh, stress and fear these guys are under. At a certain point, Richard Gordon is orbiting the moon, opens up a locker, and sees this color photo, this nude photo of uh, Dee Dee Lynn, uh, cracked him up. Uh, the, the astronauts on the, on the, on the, pl on the walking on the moon also had... Uh, playmates on their armbands, so they all laughed, and it's a very famous, and Richard Gordon held on to this uh, for almost 40 years, and so we're really pleased to have it. It's, 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 you know, iconic. It tells the story of the 60s, captures the spirit of the Apollo program, and really, I think, humanizes these guys. I mean, these guys were true heroes, true heroes. And bad boys, it sounds like. <laughs> they were, <laughs> you can imagine, you, you, you know, uh, what these guys went through, the training, the effort, they're hand-picked, you know, they're, they're uh, America's finest, mankind's finest, really, and uh, we're really proud to, to have their things here for auction. It's really cool stuff. Obviously, when most of us go traveling, we like to pick up souvenirs, so what types of souvenirs do astronauts have? Well, what's incredible is uh, they would fly things into space with them that they could give as presentation pieces when they got back home. So uh, they would have flight-flown flags, they would have medallions, they'd have all kinds of incredible things that would go up into, into space uh, with them. We've got a giant selection of things just like that. So now, Bobby, how did you actually get your hands on some of this stuff? Well, uh, we, we're representing about eight consigners and one astronaut themselves, and all this stuff is, uh, has incredible provenance history to it. Uh, it was sold by the astronauts or by uh, NASA employees themselves, and it's, an, it's like the cream of the crop of, of space artifacts and autographs. It's really incredible. Okay, so which one, Bobby, do you think is going to get the highest bid? I think what's going to get the, the highest bid is the headset that was... Uh, worn by Charlie Duke when Apollo 11 landed on the moon. There's a very famous transcript where uh, 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 Aldrin says, the eagle, uh, eagle has landed, and uh, through that headset that was received, and uh, what was said back was, we copy you down, eagle. And it kind of represents the pinnacle achievement of man's exploration into space. Certainly the greatest achievement uh, of mankind, I think, engineering-wise. Well, in terms of engineering, obviously that's changed quite a bit over the time that we've been able to send people up into space. So which technological achievements that you have sort of represent that era or those particular times in space? Well, we've got this really incredible uh, a pre-Apollo instrument panel uh, that, that's really neat, but it, you know, it, it, it's mid-60s, so the technology that they used to land on the moon is really incredible and, and it's slightly primitive, and then things advanced as the Apollo program uh, went on. Uh, we have the, the, an incredible, like, uh, the food that they had to eat while in space. Uh, it's 40 years old, quite unappetizing, but it's, it's pretty neat. It has Ziploc bags that we have today. There's so many things that we have today 
that uh, were brought on by the Apollo program. So do you think that that food, that meal, would still be edible? I mean, it would be freeze-dried, right? Unfortunately, it's still edible, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd keep it as a souvenir. It, it doesn't look appetizing at what all. What is it? <laughs> it's pot roast. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to suck it through the tube in order to consume it. I, I don't recommend it. Very interesting stuff. Now, what are you hoping to walk away with? Are you going to keep anything? or? <laughs> well, I got, what I have here, I, I brought the one that I'm going to bid on. It's, it's Ham the Chimp. It's a little statuette. You've got to remember, before we would ever hurl men into space on top of uh, uh, these rockets, they sent uh, uh, Ham the Chimp up, and he performed tasks like pushing buttons and uh, uh, wanted to make sure that uh, primates or, or humans would be able to uh, uh, operate in space safely. And Ham came back... Uh, safely and this little statuette kind of represents him and I think he's one of the coolest things there is so I'm going to be bidding. Wonderful stuff. Well good luck with your bid and thank you so much for joining us today Bobby. Uh, it's fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. Bobby Livingston is with RR Auction. He joined me from Amherst, New Hampshire.